Well, onion has a number of pathogens and diseases that can affect it. One such problem is a bacterial disease known as Xanthomonas leaf spot. And this plant is showing some evidence, some diagnostic signs that we associate with a bacterial pathogen that can attack our vegetable crops. So for example, you can see a number of long, tannish to brown discolored leaves or lesions on these leaves um, due to the bacteria which has infected the leaves from the tips and started a, a downward infection and death of some of this uh, plant foliage. But this bacterial pathogen produces a very diagnostic symptom as we have seen on other vegetable crops affected by bacteria and that is ample evidence of water soaking. And here are two other leaves that might show the symptoms a little more clearly. Let me hold this right. You can see running up and down this leaf some water soaked or greasy looking tissue that runs linearly up and down the leaf. Now this whole entire leaf is discolored brown to dark tan but again you can see evidence of these water soaked blotches in this tissue. And this is area where the intercellular spaces are collecting cell contents, water and other components of the cell that are being released as the bacteria breaks down the tissue in this plant part. Here's another leaf that shows maybe a little different symptoms. Yeah, again you can see some of these blotches. Sometimes the water soaked tissue is just a small fleck. You might have a number of small greasy looking flecks up and down that tissue that can best be observed with a hand lens or under a, a dissecting scope. But again this water soaked nature of this tissue the discoloration and the color of these lesions being tanned brown, the tip death starting from the tips working its way down affecting a number of these leaves especially the younger leaves which are more susceptible to a bacterial pathogen again are all good diagnostic symptoms of this particular problem that is the xanthomonas leaf spot. Now to confirm that we do have a xanthomonas problem or a bacterial problem on these plants we would take some of these leaves back to the laboratory we could look at them under the uh, microscopes looking for bacterial streaming. Also, we could isolate from this disease tissue and plate it out on nutrient media and after a few days of incubation confirm the recovery of the pathogen based upon colony color and morphology from this disease tissue. Now many bacterial pathogens can also move from the leaves into the bulbs and cause a breakdown or a secondary rot of the bulb, the center of the bulb, the outer of the bulb scales, or the entire bulb itself. Now Xanthomonas doesn't do that. It primarily just reduces leaf area and therefore size of the bulb. So that's how it impacts the yields that can be as much as 25 percent yield loss due to a severe infection such as this plant is showing. Now other bacterial pathogens as I mentioned will cause a watery rot. So there are various Erwinia soft rots, uh, Pseudomonads, Bricolderias, um, uh, Enterobacter, a number of things that can cause various types of breakdown especially of the bulbs in the field and oftentimes after harvest in storage. So again the bacterial disease complex is a very serious challenge for the onion producer. For management, we look at good IPM approaches, crop rotation, planting clean seed and transplants or certified seed, um, irrigation management, moderate fertility practices, and the timely application of uh, labeled pesticides that will reduce the survival and infection of some of these bacterial pathogens on susceptible varieties of onions.